Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome to something new coming soon to Steam this year known as Bravers. This is an open world and action adventure shipbuilding game in a post-apocalyptic world deep underground after an asteroid and meteor strikes hit the earth. Well, people were forced to go underground as mysterious bacteria were taking over the surface and then eventually growing deep underground. It's good to see you all back as we march towards 1 million subscribers. So I just wanted to say thanks to everybody who smashes that subscribe button. 26, uh, no, 62. <laughs> Sorry, 62 to 75% of the people don't sub. So make sure you do subscribe. I'd love to have you part of our wonderful community as we take a look at many new games, survival games, building games, and simulator games. And more games to give away on the Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord, links down below in the description. Make sure you go ahead and click that little react button there in order to uh, prove that you're not a bot and then enjoy all the perks of becoming a member of our Discord. If you're a member too, don't forget to spam those uh, lovely Bob Rosses down below in the comment section because this game is beautiful. So it's been two decades or so since the devastation of what I could only imagine to be Earth and uh, we'll be playing a character named Stu who's going to be basically taking over a small ship and building it into a massive battleship. Right, well without further ado let's get started and take a look, our first look at Bravers. Here we go. 26 years ago, a massive asteroid crashed into our planet. The surface of the Earth became uninhabitable. Survivors had no option but to move underground. Bacteria from the asteroid spawned the growth of huge, strange plants and mushrooms. Most of the mushrooms and plants seemed quite normal, but some had amazing properties. Some of the plants and mushrooms were successfully used as fuel for super-efficient engines, which made it possible to create anti-gravity fields. This was how the new low-soaring underground fleet appeared. Having recovered from the cataclysm, people began to rebuild society. But not everyone wanted to report to the new government. They proclaimed themselves anarchists and refused to obey the orders of the military and the government. The government and military in turn called them pirates and marauders and thus declared war against them. The year is 2047. 26 years have passed since the meteorite fell. During this time, a new generation has been born and grown, small but already capable. Stu is one of the new generation people. He turned 14 today, which means that <laughs> that means he can now have his own ship, <laughs> can get married and eat relaxing mushrooms. <laughs> As if I haven't tried them already. Stu grabs the keys for his own new personal ship and runs out of the house to sea. <laughs> I can just imagine how happy you are. <laughs> A single deck fly. I couldn't have imagined something like that at your age. Dad, what the... It only has enough power for a few minutes of flight and doesn't have room for an extra tank. <laughs> One step at a time, Stu. <laughs> Just wait a couple of years, you can use this as the start of an excellent four-deck build. Maybe I could just join the army and get to fly on a huge cruiser like my brother. And then, and then, I could find a lot of blue crystals and become rich and buy anything I... No. Well, that cut off abruptly. All right, so he's got a brother in the military. There are military ships, and ships are being fueled by these strange new organisms. Interesting. Right, welcome to the demo. Thanks for trying it. Bravers is not a hack-and-slash type game, so be ready to start over and do it again. Then try different tactics. It's not a bug, but a feature of the gameplay. Ah, so they're saying that this is going to be incredibly difficult. So that's good. We'll be able to learn and try things as we go. All right, let's take a look at the tool tips then. Uh, current gear indicator. Wow, we got to put her into a uh, gear as well. Compass bar, list of crew members, our ship that we can build here. Uh, current fuel, which we're at 19 now. Current amount of scrap in the inventory. Use these to repair your ship or exchange for something useful. Okay, and this must be our weight capacity and a few other things too, I'm sure. Uh, slow, speed up, left and right, interact, activate boosters. Wow, we got boosters too, very nice. Camera controls to zoom in and out. And crew management. Oh, we can actually pick more than one. That looks like a really cool ship. Uh, let's see. Click on a crew member and select them. And then uh, they're selected with the outline. Click the order. 
available to ship as damage in around fire. Oh, okay, so we got a little bit of like faster than light. We have to put out uh, uh, fires and manage guns and such. Oh, dude, this is all right. This is getting really cool, actually. Press space to activate and deactivate tactical pause. Really? Tactical pause as well? Look at this. Oh, this... Okay, this is reminding me of... Um, not faster than light, but um, more of the... Uh, there was a bomber game. I forgot what it was. Uh, um, where you have to manage a crew similar to faster than light, but uh, really in like a real-time flight. Crazy. Yeah, we've got inventory to worry about. Quite a bit of information here. Unfortunately, we won't be able to cover every single morsel of what is in this beefy demo already. Jeez, I can already tell that they've gone into a great amount of uh, details here with just the small location we've been started in. Okay, so we have skills that we can activate too. And lots of things to uh, take with us if we win in battle and things that we can add to our ship. Upgrades and such that we can uh, add to our ship at a later time. Nice. Alright, well, here's our little banger right now. <laughs> Alright, well, it's not much, but uh, we should be proud of it. Very good. So we got Stu here on his little ship. And uh, there seems to be a nice uh, 50 cal up front. Look at the world around us. Looks cool. Oh, there's a quest point over there. Something we'll go to later. Alright, let's pull her into dock. And see what we can do. Oh, we can actually uh, drive without him being on the uh, controls. Interesting. Okay. All right, we have docked. Ship, yard, shop, tavern, and shipyard. Huh. Uh, let's go to the shop. Oh, what is this here? Red crystal. Okay. So this is what we can exchange for these things. Binoculars, additional fuel, scrap, and blue crystal. Uh, let's see. A fairly rare and expensive used for chemical reactions. Ooh, interesting. All right, let's go to the tavern, probably to recruit people. Available quests. Young captain. Uh, so do you think you can call yourself a captain now? I don't think so. You're not a captain if you start... <laughs> you're not a captain if you can start an engine. You're a captain when you can survive in battle. Of course. Uh, people are saying there are horrible little creatures scattered around our village. Nasty spitters. So be careful you don't forget to uh, get at least the most basic cannon before you leave the dock. Be sure to tell me about your adventure when you get back. Kill spitters times three. All right, well, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see. We can also bring people with us. Uh, Bernard and Felix. Montgomery, otherwise known as Monty. All right, well, let's try to get one person, I guess, with us. Okay. I don't know if we can get two. Uh, bad bad price. Okay. Uh, does that mean we don't have enough to recruit them? Uh, let's see. Monty here. Oh, I see. I see. It has, we have to make a deal with them. Okay. How about one? <laughs> All right, so this bar needs to move closer to the middle. Okay, so he's probably not going to... Even if we put everything there... Oh, really? Shift and control don't move more than one at a time? All right, shift and control don't move the full stack, but I can already tell they don't want to come along. Okay, so we can recruit them, but we need to be able to um, pay them more. Okay. Shipyard. Ah, but we can do some upgrades. Okay, well, this is really cool. Dude, I love how it's it's actually doing in real time. Like, there's people walking around on the docks. We can see uh, sewage and such falling down in the depths below. Interesting. I like it. Oh, wow, we got a lot of pieces here. So he said something about a cannon. Uh, so does he mean... Okay, I think we have a small machine gun on our ship, but uh, what do we have for, uh, for these here? What are the prices? Uh, weight, capacity, price above average. Of average, expensive, below average. We could buy some more steering, but that's not going to help us. Uh, another engine, which would be expensive. So I guess the best we could do is maybe this. Oh, but you got to do another deal this way? Oh, we'll never be able to afford that. I guess we can do fuel too. We can't even click the whole stack over? Shift and control, just don't move it. Okay. Well, there's no way we're going to be able to do that. So at least we have a machine gun to start us off. So that's good. All right, so we have a gun there and our engine that we might be able to do maintenance on. And anything else that we ha that we found out in battle or that we uh, have with us, we can use for editing later. Okay, well, I think we're about ready to go on this quest then. Let's go find out what's over here. And we'll go find our quest later on too. Let's see, what does the journal tell us? Any other information? Crew one of nine. Oh, wow, we can have nine people on our ship, so we can actually have a massive ship. Looks like things maybe to research or learn. 
Oh, these are skills, I think. Oh, yeah. Firefighters, uh, bulk structures. So these are skills that we can have for our crew members in order to put out fires or to fire faster, that type of thing. E to interact. Welcome to the demo. Thank you for trying the demo. Our main goal was to give you a short preview of Bravers. You can build a ship, control the crew, uh, fight, and enjoy the game. Uh, in our opinion, you'll have the best experience if you follow the quest line. Please remember, this is a demo that doesn't have some of the full game mechanics, etc., etc. However, if you want to have the chance to try different tactics or just f fly for fun. Okay. So some things are missing already. Play normal mode or give me money? Uh, actually, give me, go ahead and give me money. Yeah, give me, give me some money now. All right. I, I guess we didn't get cash. Maybe this is rare stuff we can sell later. Let's try to go on this quest. Now, how do we shoot? We could have uh, Stu here get on the gun. And where do we need to fly to? I don't see anything marked on the compass at the moment. But I do like flying around and looking at things. Oh, there they are. Ooh, there's the spitters. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Stu, son, I, I'm going to need you to get on that, that gun, son. All right, let him have it, boy. Oh, <laughs> wow, this gun ain't gonna do much. Wow. Stu is dead. Yeah, I imagine that. Oh. Okay, let's go back in. Alright, this time we have some cash, and we're not going to fight those pesky spitters just yet until we've upgraded the craft a little bit. So let's do some shopping again. Ah, oh, we have demo coins instead of Bitcoin. It's Braver Demo Coins. That's awesome. So that's what popped up after we uh, said give me money. It wasn't that we got uh, scrap. It was demo coins. Alright, so this will fetch us a pretty penny for anything that we want. That's cool. That, that's really awesome because that allows you to experience more of the game without really grinding for no reason since you can't save your progress or bring it over in most games, that is. All right, well, let's go ahead and see how much this will get us. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. We'll be able to get... Look at that. Just one coin is an absolute yes. Okay, well, let's go with the automatic cannon and two other cannons. And, uh, well, let's just see if we, what we can... Like, give me everything. Let me see how much we can get for it. There we go. Oh, we could probably trade a little bit of scrap, too, here. Let's see if that'll do anything for us. Anything? Oh, closer. Closer. Ah, barely. All right, well, we'll take all of our... We'll take all of our junk back. Not that it's going to matter. Let's just make a deal with them. There we go. Okay, so now we've got everything we want. Now let's see if we can recruit some crew members. You have some uninstalled blocks. Oh, well, yes, but I... Figured I'd come back later. But let's see if we can move things around now. A and D to rotate. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So we can put turrets off to the sides. We can build like two turrets like this. Oh, that's cool. All right. So we got two turrets now that are similar on both sides. Then we can put the main turret in the center. Like this. And then we can put in small storage back here. And small steering. And then we should be able to put another engine on the back end. What is this here? And another small engine. Okay, let's detach this. Uh, where's that one piece I wanted? Uh, let's see. Well, we have our cannon back. We have a nice auto cannon up front like that. Ooh. I want to put like another piece on here. How do we, uh, how do I get that one piece back for the engine? Hmm. Okay. That should be good enough, I think. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. We can make something like this, I think. I feel like one of my pieces disappeared for my uh, in my extra engine. Did I get engine steering? I think we should have another engine here. Okay. Anything else in the shop? 
The binoculars are neat. How do they work? A rare guest from the past. It's a great honor to have one. Okay, that increases our honor. Go to the tavern. Accept the mission to kill spitters. Go back to the tavern to recruit. Connor. And Leo. Alright. Okay. Well, let's get everybody on a gun. Now this says it's an automatic turret, but does somebody need to be inside of it? It appears not. So, we only need three people on the guns. And away we go. We could probably build a better ship, but of course we're limited with our parts for now. But let's go hunt spitters this time. They were quite powerful before. There must be ways to add additional bulkhead and such onto our ship. And I also think we could probably buy more um, fuel and such back at the dock. But let's go fly around and look for those nasty spitters again. And we'll t There we go. There they are. We'll teach them a lesson after getting smashed the first time. I'm glad they actually gave us uh, some money to toy around. The building is quite fun. I really want to see more advanced building here. Oh, look at that turret. That is much better than the little 50 cal we had before. Alright, I see the automatic turret's not firing. Is that a bowling pin? What the hell is that? Oh. Wait, that's them when they die. Oh, I see. It's like a little loot loot box. A floating loot box when they're, when they're dead. Oh, we should be able to melee attack. It'd be really cool to plow right into them and just destroy them. That'd be awesome if there was melee attacks. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Cross Out, which is a wonderful, kind of like a post-apocalyptic vehicle building thing. It's like War Thunder, uh, but you can actually make your own vehicles kind of in this style. Really like this. This is really neat. Well, we've just destroyed a ton of spitters right now. Let's go take a look around. and s Oh, actually, let's turn this quest in. And let's then go see what else is out there. So spitters are only basic enemies for now. Let's go buy some fuel and turn in our quest and get some repairs then. So I guess this gear, it's its all automatic. The gear is basically, uh, you can press uh, W basically for slow, medium, and fast speed. Just kind of like a shift, like, you know, all ahead full, that type of thing, full steam ahead. So that's what they meant by gears earlier. I thought we were going to have to actually like do something like work a transmission, but I guess not. So can we get repairs here? How would we do that? Is there a way we can order uh, some sort of repair? I'd like to get more fuel too, please. There we go. Give me all your stuff here. Actually, give me all your fuel. Cool. Anything else? Red crystal, blue crystal, and then all the little parts, okay? Nothing else at the shop. And nothing else popping up in the shipyard at the moment. But, oh, we could do repairs this way. So the, only the front section was damaged. Oh, but we can give them red crystal. And get a little bit of uh, repair that way. There we go. Well, that's cool. Alright, so we're all fully repaired now. I really wanted to put two engines on this. I don't know if it disappeared or... Why not? But I really want to see how fast we can go. So this engine's in addition to our regular motor in the middle. Oh yeah, you can actually see it rotating. What cool details here. I like it. And it really reminds me of that... Uh, there was also... Actually, now that I remember, there was a World War I tank, a World War II bomber, and then I think there also was like a... kind of more of a modern spaceship or something that you can also modify too. Uh, in another game that I was mentioning before. I can't remember their names, but it was similar to this where you uh, basically, you know, you take like a, I think it was a Lancaster bomber or something along those lines. It really gives me that type of feel. The name escapes me, but essentially it's the uh, kind of the same with telling the crew to man the guns, but you also get to drive and uh, customize it in your own way instead of taking something that's kind of pre-existing. Well, let's see what else is around here. The land is kind of changing. Look at this. These look like exploded blueberries with vines coming out and roots. That's cool. I see a lot of glowing things. Oh, there's actually like a... Ooh, there's like a manta ray below. Oh, I bet we get to go into the depths and the deeper we go, the more danger it is. Uh, let's see if we can ascend or descend. No. Maybe so. But there is quite a bit here to look at, that's for sure. A lot of beautiful light here. I want to look up. I want to see what's above us. 
So the storage increases our capacity. Oh, we got we got something to shoot at over here. Is that a spitter or something else? Open fire, boys. Oh, he's stuck in the wall. Get him, boys. Gotta be a boss. There we go. Yeah, that was a rough one to take on. Oh, we got some rare stuff from that one. Okay. Let's go all ahead full then and see what else we can find. Now, once we go back to the shop, if we're out of fuel, that's pretty much it. Unless we get some from our uh, little creatures here. What is this? A tentacle? Price cheap. Not the most uh, pleasant part of the spitter's body, but it could be worse. And it can be sold. Oh, and we found a blue crystal. Wonderful. So we can sell that for a little bit of cash. But the question is, will the shop have anything in store? Or are there other shops and villages we can go see? Up ahead, we actually see something up here. More quests, perhaps. Let's go explore. It's very interesting how it looks like we're high above the Earth's surface. I think this is a different planet other than Earth. But Earth-like planet. And what's interesting here is that it feels like we're underwater in, like, Subnautica, but it also feels like we're flying above a giant canyon and a little bit like Waterworld all of a sudden with this structure in front of us. Very, um, people uh, kind of look at it negatively, Waterworld, but it's got some cool concepts to it. You've noticed some old rusty barrels next to you. There definitely still might be something in left in them. Hmm. Let's check the barrels, although it may be a negative consequence. Sadly, almost all the barrels except three turned out to be empty and were used to store fuel. You take the barrel on board, the extra fuel is always a good thing. Move one barrel on board. The barrel was full of fuel. There are two. Take another one. The barrel was very rusty as you started to bring it on board. The bottom fell out and fuel splashed onto the deck. The ship is on fire. Oh, interesting. All right, how we put that out now? Oh boy. Well, maybe we've got to go get repairs. Is there a way to put that out? I was uh, getting greedy on purpose to see what the negative effect would be, and boy, oh boy, was that negative. Also, this is called an auto cannon, but I don't see it. I didn't see it firing at all just yet. Let's see if there's any little. Uh... Oh, what is this? Oh, we got another ship to fight against. Battle stations, boys. Oh, it's another. Oh, yeah. Get him, boys. Okay, we got him. Well, there goes that auto cannon, but it wasn't shooting anyway. Hmm. The creatures mostly just seem to kind of plow into you and then just kind of continue to shoot. It is a little difficult to do evasion. I wonder how they'll come up with that in the future. Oh, wow, we're going to get smashed. Oh, no. <laughs> Stu is dead because he was on that gun. So it might be a good idea to keep Stu on one of the main guns or whatnot. Right. Well, I'm not sure exactly what more is here aside from flying around and eventually getting walloped if we can't make repairs or have to fly back to the main base. But the concept is solid. I'm really curious to see how the developers are going to deal with the pirate ships and spitters and, you know, organic and, uh, and like, mechanical battles. And I'm sure there'll be some things where you can hire somebody to do repairs. So there's probably re ways to repair a million different things to do. But I'm glad we had a little bit of time to take a look at the demo. And I'm glad you came along. This game available now if you want to check it out for free. Again, it's Bravers. And you can download the demo today where there's much to do. Go get those coins. Tell them you want money and go build your own ship. Although parts are limited, the possibilities seem endless when the full release comes around. And I would put this uh, on my list of games that I want to try out, such as High Fleet as well. Check that out on the channel, too. High Fleet is a uh, game that really reminds me a lot of this in many ways, though they're very different. And I'm an anticipating the release of this one. Very good. I like what I saw here. All right, you guys are amazing. Thanks very much. Unfortunately, we're out of time. I'd love to keep on jumping in and learning more and, and getting more thorough with it. But our very limited time is now over, and I hope to see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.